Hey guys, Wraith55 here, and I am basically just going to be talking today a little bit about a special node in the Doom Raid. Um, so, we're doing Doom 1. This is still First Strike. Um, so, you know, this is kind of specific to one lane. So, um, if you start on the left side, and I think this is true for the bio of any of the lanes, but uh, I'm not sure because I've only done this, I've only done this lane. Uh, bio and the other lanes might be a little bit different because in the first, uh, the first two are a little bit easier, but I think it's just because the boss node is easier. So I think this first one is actually the same thing. Uh, but I'm gonna be talking about how to beat this uh, with the symbiotes. So first off, let's talk about the symbiotes a little bit. Um, so the symbiotes are a special raid team and they work really well because of two things. Uh, well, there's a, there's, a, there's a few things. Um, one of them is that you get really good passive bonuses from Spider-Man symbiote. So you get a lot of, uh, you get a lot of drain, which keeps everyone alive. And you get some extra health bonuses, things like that. Um, of course, Anti-Venom is just a great character and Venom gives defense up to all of the symbiotes when he's above a certain health percentage, so that's very helpful too. But the two main reasons why they're so good in raids, uh, first, less importantly, is Scream. When anyone on the opposing team, or anyone on the field at all, dies, uh, your team heals, all of the symbiote, symbiotes heal, and they all get speed up, I think for two turns. Um, so that's really good. And the other really major one, the real reason why this team just destroys and raids is Carnage. Uh, his passive, when anyone on the enemy team goes below 25% health, uh, you get a bunch of, you get speed, uh, you get turn meter. So I think like 250 turn meter and your team heals. So not only does this keep you alive, it gives you a lot of turns. Now the special thing about this node in particular is there's this Hella that starts off at the start. And probably a lot of you understand this mechanic already, so but I'm just gonna go over it just because. Uh, Hella, has, Hella summons a skeleton, um, a little minion, and anytime that minion dies, she resummons it. Normally, you wanna avoid attacking this thing. On most teams, you wanna avoid attacking the skeleton because anytime the skeleton dies, you lose, all of your team loses a little bit of turn meter, 99, I believe, and um, she gets to heal. And she heals the most uh, injured as guardian ally, which includes herself. So generally, on most teams, you don't actually want to attack that guy. It's bad for you to kill him. Because she just resummons him anyways. But on this team, uh, because of the insane bonuses that you get for when somebody dies and goes below 25% health, you actually just want to feed on him. Carnage feeds on him. So think about this. Uh, Carnage is basically Carnage and Scream are basically eating these skeletons every time they die, and you get a huge amount of bonuses every time. So you get to take a lot more extra turns. Even though he removes a little bit of turn meter, you gain more. Uh, you gain much more than um, he removes. So it's a net positive. So basically, our strategy on this is to not kill Hella and to keep attacking the skeleton so we get as many turns as possible. Now, sometimes you might say like, well, that was a kind of a waste of an attack because you just killed the skeleton that's coming right back. But a lot of our attacks are actually going to be AOEs, so they they hit more than one person. And honestly, even if it's not an AOE, sometimes it's worth it to just keep the team moving along and you get more, you know, because every time you take a turn, you're getting energy. So some of these ults and stuff can do huge damage and create buffs for your team so they can be really important so let's just try this now this strategy is really slow so most of the time when i do this i will have to make two attacks at least um if i'm if i'm too slow i uh might even have to make three i'm gonna try i'm gonna try really hard to go as fast as possible so i might not talk too much um uh, but the plan for me here is basically to kill the skeleton over and over not to focus too much on the other characters um and we're we're just going to, I mean, you you try and kill those characters as you can, but the idea is we want to get kill as many skeletons as we can to get more and more turn meter. So I'll show you what that means um, as soon as this is done loading. So thankfully we have a little bit of time for download. Um, 
yeah, there's not too much else to say here. Uh, this strategy works against the Asgardians as well. So if, you've, if you're familiar with the war strategy, you want to do something similar here. Uh, however, normally in war you want to kill you want to kill Hela. You don't actually want to keep her around because there's some annoying things that can happen. Here you don't want to kill Hela because there's multiple waves. You actually just want to keep her alive as much as possible. So I'm actually going to do a basic here because I'm going to keep keeping stands on other people. There's a lot of annoying characters on the field. Um, I don't even necessarily know. I think I'm going to pop them down here and hope that kills the skeleton when it does. Okay, and we're going to ult her so that we can get the offense up. Okay, that's all fine. We're just going to do this. We wanted to offense down her there because we did not want that ult to kill anyone. Okay, so this is kind of bad because he's blinded, so we're just going to... Okay, and we're just going to... Like I said, there's a lot of annoying characters. Probably the big one that we really want to focus on killing is Taskmaster, because there's blinds that he can give. Um, we'll go ahead and stun him. Okay, and we'll spread. We want to be careful not to kill him, though. So we might as well just kill the skeleton. Alright, now we're gonna extend. Now Taskmaster is basically screwed because he's got double shine, so we're gonna move on. Actually, we probably wanna kill we wanna kill uh Jessica Jones so she can't special and remove all the remove all of the negatives. Still doing good damage. And you can see they're just not getting any turns. Um, so okay, we can do this to Taskmaster because we just really want the buffs. Okay, so that's all fine. Kill the skeleton. Okay, I think we're gonna start going for starting some new. As he can be pretty annoying. The reason I don't use Carnage's special all that often is I actually don't want to remove the debuffs. It does do a lot of damage, so if you th think you can snipe somebody with it, it's good, but if you don't finish them off, then just remove all the debuffs, and that's honestly sometimes worse. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Okay, we don't want to kill Hella, though, so we got to be very careful there. Okay, he's basically dead. And you can see we've already spent a lot of our time here. You know, we've only killed like two guys. That's okay because a lot of these guys are basically dead. I think we're going to be able to almost finish this wave. Okay, let's kill him. Unfortunately, I've heal blocked Hella, so I might have screwed myself. Um, Normally, if she's not heal blocked, uh, you're kind of in an okay position because uh, every time you kill the skeleton, she heals back up. But since she's heal blocked, yeah, that's obviously not really working. Okay, I'm gonna do this. We're trying to get as much damage as possible before you go around. Hopefully, we can kill some people. Uh, I think we can just get out. Don't, I'm trying not to use his ult because I don't want to kill Hella. Okay, we got lucky there. Okay, that was not so good. That's okay because we're gonna run out of time here, and then when she comes back, she's not gonna have the debuffs, so we can kill her a bunch of times. And Greg just being a, a nickname for skeleton. Yeah, 
right, we're gonna run out of time. We killed, it looks like we killed six of them. Um, it says we only killed five, but that's because the skeleton counts as one. Even though it doesn't count towards the total, it just counts towards the numerator. Okay. That's actually okay. Hello, Liv, which is really good because we're going to kill the skeleton uh, a few times at the start of the next fight, and hopefully that will heal her up. All right, let's see here. All right, there we go. So you can see most of the damage is already done, and we should be able to finish this off in this fight. I think we did pretty good this time. Sometimes I'm really slow, and I really don't get that much done the first time. Okay, so... Remember, we're going to go straight for the skeleton because we want to heal Hella up as much as possible. Because there's at least, there's another wave, I believe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Yeah, I believe there's another wave. So we want to kill all this guy. Oh, that was bad. Uh, I didn't think he was actually... Okay. Well, that's okay. Now we just got to go for it. Um... And hopefully, hopefully, there's only four of them left, so I think we're going to be okay. Generally, you don't want to kill Hela until the last possible minute, but uh, there's only four of them left. She's about to die, so we might still be okay. Now, Fal when Falcon comes out, you need to kill him as quickly as possible, because uh, if he does his special, you can be in a lot of trouble. He gives the... You can give the enemy team a ton of turn meter, and basically everyone gets to take a turn. Uh, so yeah, you definitely don't want to let him go, especially... His ult is really strong, you can do a lot of damage, you can really hurt, but his special is candy and game ending. So you really don't want him to do that. Okay, but I think we're going to be okay for now. Fortunately, Jessica Jones just did her special, so she's not going to be able to do that for a minute. I think we're going to be okay. Even, I killed uh, Hella a little prematurely, but really not too bad. And, uh... Yeah, so let's, let's see if we can do this. Just, we're going to try and stop her from specialing. We're probably going to be able to kill these guys before. That's going to be an issue, but... Yeah, I think this is good. Now it doesn't matter if she specials and we can make it so far. And so yeah, that's that's all it takes. My symbiotes are pretty strong, but I was able to do this when they were weaker. Um, as you can see, there weren't that many times when I was really in danger of losing. Uh, just because killing a skeleton isn't that hard in the end. You get so so many turns. When you do it, when you play this way, you just, they don't really get an opportunity to kill you too much. There are a couple of times when you can be in danger. If if Falcon gets to special, you're pretty much screwed. You might want to just quit out, um, so that your guys don't all die. And um, Electro, when she gets to ult, sometimes it can it can kill one or two of your guys. So you want to be really careful there. Uh, but really, it's not too bad with that strategy, and you just can slow play it if. It's better to, you know, take a couple of energy than to just lose. So, um, yeah, that's the strategy there. Uh, this one's not, this one, there's not like a, a super easy strategy on this one. You just have to kind of play normal symbiote strats. So uh, there's nothing really to show here. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that is my strategy for the uh, Doom 1 Bio first mode. So I just noticed that some people have had issues with it. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's any other nodes that you want me to show what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. Thanks.